Just listening to the song. Amen. The blood is there to stay. Amen. Bringing you in with a little uh, sound doctrine. That's a That group's called Sound Doctrine, uh, a little known bluegrass gr group, bluegrass, I can't say that, a little known bluegrass group from Michigan, uh, Sound Doctrine. Uh, that song was actually made popular by a different group. Uh, the blood is still there, uh, but he actually, uh, Gary Duty actually wrote that song. Uh, just uh, a good group. We've got a, a number of their uh, songs, matter of fact, a lot of them that we sing. Uh, were written by that group. All right, good to see everybody this morning. Glad that you're here. We're going to let everybody uh, get online and get together, get with us today. It looks like we've got about eight of, eight of us or so. Uh, Miss Nancy, good morning. Uh, Raymond Riley, good morning, good morning. Uh, Miss Betty Pivato, good to see you this morning. Miss Kay Barnes, Brother Adam Spaulding, glad you are with us this morning. Uh, good to see y'all. Well, uh, Miss Glenda, I see you on there as well. Uh, Glad that you are with us today. We're going to have some prayer requests, different things that are going on. We'll, we'll talk about a couple of things this morning. Have our life first for the day uh, and then pray together. Just want to be of encouragement to you this morning. Hey, Brother Jim, good to see you. Uh, Mr. Mr. Patch got out yesterday before the rain started and got most of the yard mowed. Uh, so it was looking good out there today. Uh, I'm telling you what, he, I, I was sitting there watching him. That's, that's, that's a marvel right there. Uh, he's got a, a zero-turn mower, mow, radius mower, a pretty good size one. And uh, he started about 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. And by, I left about 3.30. And he had mowed the better part of, uh, of most of what we mow and was about to start mowing the two wings, what I call the wings, the two spots in the front that we normally don't mow. And he just he's going to do that for us see what it looks like so he after brother Riley knocked it down last week he went and run his mower through one side i noticed this morning when i got back he he got caught by the rain he didn't get all of it done but uh but it looks good it looks good out there all right so i, I i'm a, i'm assuming everybody that's coming is coming uh you're here so far so we're glad that you're with us uh first let me say this thank you so much for all the birthday wishes yesterday we had a bunch a lot of folks called and text and emailed and instant messaged and, and all the different things had one uh, had one couple call me and sing happy birthday and that was a blessing uh, brother bruce miss opal thank you so much for that uh, a couple of people dropped cards off here some put them in the mail uh, so we, we appreciate all that thank you so much for the birthday wishes uh, uh just uh, uh my father-in-law asked me last night if i felt any older and I told him, yes, sir, I do. I, I'm 53 this year. I'm feeling, I think I'm feeling every year of it. Uh, so uh, catching up with me. But anyway, he laughed. He's 81. He laughed and said, oh, you're still a young pup. But anyway, uh, uh, thank you so much for all, all the, 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 the love that was shown yesterday. I appreciate it. Uh, it's, it's, it that's, a, uh, that's a blessing to, to know that you're loved. We did have a, a good supper last night. My wife fixed one of my favorite meals for me last night and then we had cake and all that you know so it was just it was just a big day so we enjoyed it 
Um, had, had a real good time. All right. Uh, uh, prayer request. Let's do remember our prayer request. Good morning, Miss Emma. Miss Rose. Good to see y'all. Uh, I'm getting a phone call. Let's see. That little, little, I have to leave a message. All right. Uh, um, I do want to say this, uh, as far as our prayer requests are concerned, um, let's do remember, uh, Brother Marvin, uh, in your prayers, I understand that um, they were going to keep him a couple of days in the hospital for uh, for observation, you know, just trying to get him settled in with the drain tube and all the, thing they're do- all the things that they're doing right now, so you pray for them. They are not, they're, they're not letting, mis- as far as I know, Miss Lisa cannot go and visit, so you pray for her. Um, I know she would appreciate that. Also, uh, Brother Adam asked yesterday, he asked that we remember the, the nanny family uh, in our prayers, loss of a 13-year-old son. Let's do remember them uh, in your prayers. I know they would appreciate that. Also, um, uh, Miss Emma asked that we remember Brother Mickey today. He has some tests today, uh, so you pray for him. Uh, I know they would uh, appreciate our prayers there. Uh, and then also Monday when Brother Philip was here uh, at the church, um, our neighbor to the north of us uh, here at the church, uh, his sister came out and said that uh, uh, Mr. Carey had fallen uh, and he was helping somebody with some gutters or something and had fallen and hit his head uh, and was having some short-term memory problems. So uh, pray for pray for him, Carey. Frazier, uh, I know they would appreciate prayers as well. Uh, so we, we've got several today, Brother Marvin, the Nanny family, Brother Mickey, uh, and then our neighbor, Carrie Frazier. That's the ones that I know about uh, this morning. So we'll mention those, pray for them. And I know there are probably others that need our prayers, but we were, just want to make sure that we mention those. Uh, it was good to have Miss Alex with us Sunday morning and drive in. That's a uh, a uh, young lady that's staying with the, the Mays family, so you pray for them. Uh, I know they would uh, appreciate that as well. I saw a picture today uh, that today was, I don't know if it was today or yesterday, but I think it was today. It was Tucker's last day of school, uh, last day of non-traditional instruction. Uh, uh, had his pictures from last year and first uh, first day of the year and last day. Boy, he has changed this year. His looks have changed. I think he looks a lot more like his mama. Uh, but anyway, his looks have changed this year. He's done a lot of growing, a lot of growing up. Uh, so we're, we are just want to say congratulations to Tucker, uh, our seniors. Congratulations to them and, and others. So we're, uh, we'll see. I'm sure we'll see pictures and different things as the days go by the next few weeks. All right. Uh, uh, what else is going on? Uh, schedule of services. Uh, let's do remember what's going on. We will have our services tonight online. Uh, I am not going to dissuade or I'm not going to t- try to talk anybody out of being coming to church tonight. Uh, it- it'll be open. You're welcome to be here if you want to. Uh, but uh, we're not promoting that a whole lot. So uh, we're not having officially, we're not having service tonight uh, in the, at church. We're not promoting that and pushing it. Uh, but I'm not going to lock the doors either. No, you, you get what I'm saying? Uh, so we'll do that tonight. And then Sunday, our schedule of services will be 1045. We will be here in the building uh, for our morning worship service. Hallelujah. Uh, we will ask, we'll have all the details coming up, but we'll, we'll just basically, we'll ask you to, you know, keep your social distancing, wear a mask when you come in and exit. I'm not going to ask you to wear it. Th- I'm not going to ask you to wear it through the whole service, but uh, if you would, uh, you know, when you come in and out, and, and we will sing, we'll have our regular song service, uh, we'll have regular preaching time, uh, you know, but we will be keep, and then when we get ready to leave, uh, probably what we'll do is we'll have ushers, we'll have probably have some greeters, that, that no shaking hands, all that stuff, just we'll hold the doors so you don't have to touch the doors coming in, uh, we'll probably have uh, ushers that will seat you, uh, so you'll keep your distance, watch, be seated, uh, and then at the end of the service, we'll have an offering plate in the back, and the ushers will dismiss us. They will escort 
folks out one family unit at a time so we keep our distance uh, like we're supposed to. So we'll do all that. We'll have all that lined out uh, as we get ready. All right, so good morning, Miss Peggy and Miss Sue. Um, I also saw a few others, uh, Miss Amy Bass, uh, Miss Debbie Mosier, those are some folks that we know from different areas. So we're glad that you're with us this morning. All right. Life verse this morning, unless you have other, if you have another prayer request you want to throw in there, if you'll put it on the comments, we'll mention it. Uh, life verse today. Uh, all right, Miss Nancy's talking about Miss Gwen Ashcraft having issues from her heart condition. Uh, do remember uh, them uh, in your prayers. I did see yesterday that uh, one of the children got their driver's license yesterday, passed their driver's test. So uh, you pray for them. That might, no, I ain't going to make that joke. All right. Uh, all right. So life verse, uh, life verse today comes from Brother James Mansfield. Uh, he mentioned this yesterday. Uh, it's Psalm 84 uh, and verse number 11. Psalm 84 and verse number 11. I'll read that for us. It says, for the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. I like that verse. That is a good verse. Uh, talking about, uh, especially the promise there in the latter part of that verse, no good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Again, that's one of those, as Dr. Wallace would call, one of those trigger verses. If we will walk uprightly, God will bless. Amen. Uh, so we're thankful that for, for Brother Mansfield submitting that verse yesterday. Again, if you have a verse you'd like to submit, you're welcome to do so. Uh, all right, we're going to have a word of prayer. Uh, we're going to dismiss today. Uh, thank you for being with us this morning. Do remember our prayer requests. Do remember all the things that are going on. Looking forward to service tonight. We'll be back in the pattern of prayer. We're finishing where we're on section number three uh, and dealing with uh, the model prayer and uh, going through actually looking at uh, the basic outline that Dr. Johnny Pope uh, uh, shared with us over 20 years ago, uh, and then kind of fleshing that out and putting some some meat to it, and, and uh, kind of looking how the Lord's led us over the last 20 years and using that that prayer pattern. Uh, so we'll be doing that uh, tonight. Uh, do remember, at seven o'clock we'll have uh, a song, and then we'll have an object lesson for the kids and. Uh, we'll have some songs for them and just a lot of different things we'll do tonight. So do remember the service is 630 for prayer, 7 o'clock for worship service. All right, let's pray and ask the Lord to bless the day. I hope, I hope it turns out well for you. I know it's starting rainy, starting kind of dreary, but, uh, I, you know, it's what it is. This will make the flowers grow real well, you know, so we got to smile about that. All right, let's pray. Thank the Lord for what, for, for what he's given us today. Looking forward to what he's going to do. Father, we're thankful for another day. Thank you for your grace and your goodness toward us. I pray that you'll open our hearts and minds. Give us exactly what we stand in need of today. Father, I pray for those that have asked interest in our prayers, Brother Marvin, uh, that you'd have your hand on him, Miss Lisa, uh, that you would be with Brother Mickey as he goes in for testing today, sees the doctor. I pray that you'll be with uh, the nanny family uh, and, and uh, the funeral and all the things that are going on there, and that you'd uh, give grace and strength and uplift them. And Father, I pray for Mr. Kerry Fisher, uh, a Fraser, uh, our neighbor, uh, that you would just have your hand on them and give grace and strength also. Father, we love you. Thank you for, for your goodness toward us. Pray that you'll help us. Lead God and direct us in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. I, I appreciate you uh, being with us today. We're going to go ahead and sign off. I'm going to let you go with a little bit more of uh, The Blood is Still There uh, by Sound Doctrine. Uh, again, uh, a good group. Uh, and a lot of this music that I'm that I'm playing that I'm featuring in the mornings is not stuff that you can just readily get. Uh, a lot of it's families that I know of that, that I've heard or uh, uh, school uh, choirs or school groups. Uh, if you would like some of this music, if you'll let me know, I can get you copies of it. Uh, some of it you can't buy anymore. Uh, so uh, just wanted to let you be aware of that. All right, I'm gonna, we're going to send you out with a little bit more. Uh, the blood is still there by a sound doctrine.
Are y'all still there? Man, we got things to do today. <laughs> we love you. Good to see you today. Y'all have a great day.